Hey everybody, today I'm going to try something a little different. My intention of coming out to these wilderness areas is to capture wildlife on film for the most part. Whether it be pig or, or deer, armadillo, snakes. But the thing is, the majority of the time, I don't see anything at all. And uh, if I want to start seeing some of these animals and getting them on camera, I've got to step up my game a bit. So what I've done was I've gone out and I purchased a couple of wild animal calls. Now one of them is to call in coyote. Now coyote uh, respond really well to a rabbit in distress apparently and that's the call that I picked up. Now I have to warn you that when using that call it sounds like a baby crying and it tugs at your heartstrings. So I just need to let you guys know that right out of the gates that it's purely for filming purposes. I have no intention of harming any of these animals. Uh, another one I picked up was a wild pig in distress. Now the thing changes shape so you can make it sound like a piglet or an adult. And the adult apparently is supposed to sound like it's in a, like a fight with another pig. I'm not sure it sounds like a pig because uh, I've heard them before and it really doesn't sound like that to me but we'll see how it works. Uh, when you change the shape and make it sound like a piglet, uh, I don't know. I've never heard one of those in distress. So if if this call is accurately uh, designed to sound like that, I'm going to have to rely on uh, what the instructions are telling me. I couldn't find any information based on this uh, call alone via uh, YouTube or their website. I couldn't find inst real instructionals. So I'm going to go for it and see how it works. But uh, if it does work, especially using the piglet, um, you got to be prepared because what's going to happen is a mama is going to come rolling in looking to scrap with whatever it is that's causing her piglets to be in distress or someone else's piglets. I don't know. Um, so I got to be careful about that. I've got to defend myself if I have to. Now the coyote is going to come in looking for uh, a rabbit to eat. And if it doesn't find a rabbit, he, he's still gonna, he's gonna be confused and he may attack, I don't know. I don't know. I've never used uh, calls like this before. This is my first time trying and uh, I'm hoping that it's going to turn out well. Uh, if nothing happens, then it's just gonna be a noisy video. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I need to find a nice place to set up and this area is really, really cool for pig because it's full of mud holes. I've never been in this spot before but I have seen the tracks around these mud holes, so I know that they do come here. Um, so, yeah, like I said, let's go ahead and get set up and uh, we'll see if we can pull some of these animals in. All right, guys. While I'm playing with this um, pig call, I discovered that the harder you blow into it, the more it sounds like a pig in distress. And uh, I guess I uh, felt kind of weird about blowing into it as hard as I could, but that was just an experiment. And it turns out that sound closer to what I know what a pig sounds like than than what was earlier being produced out of this out of this uh, an uh, animal call. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk way over there and I'm going to blow into it as hard as I can so you can see it because if I blow into it as hard as I can right here it's just going to it's just going to drown out the sound and and uh so it's just it's just not going to work right here uh because of the limitations of my equipment but I'm going to go ahead and walk straight out over there near that uh palmetto over there and uh, I'll give this a blast and we'll see how how well it sounds
<laughs> I gotta tell you, that's a lot of fun blasting into that thing as hard as you can. I gotta tell you, it's really loud. It's like right here in your face, it's like all around. This thing is a monster when it comes to the volume. But, uh, <laughs> it actually gives me the chills when I blow into it. It actually sounds pretty good. But, uh, you really have to blow into this really hard to get it to work right. So. Did y'all see that deer? <laughs> that thing took off. First it came out to investigate, and then it heard the sound again and freaked out and ran. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, I spotted some pig. The thing is, they have really crappy eyesight. They have pretty decent hearing, but their sense of smell is phenomenal. Now, so luckily, I'm downwind, so they're not gonna smell me. blast on that little horn and uh, see if we can draw some attention. There he goes, there he goes. Okay. Okay, he's right there. Alright, hold on. sucked but we saw some and I know that there's little piglets with it so uh, they there's a cut through that that hammock right there so I'm gonna circle around and see if we can catch him all right okay I can hear him moving around in there uh, like I said they got a really really good sense of smell um they won't um they won't even let me get near them if they catch a whiff of me 
in my face, so I might be able to get a little closer. So, all right, come on. pretty cool it's not exactly the reaction I expected but then again it kind of was um, they look up look around I can see that uh, I can see that they're not familiar with something like that and they just all run off she knew her babies were with her so she didn't really have much reason to be concerned about her own babies so anyways Let's see what else we can get into, huh? All right. Well, that's about it. It's a little too dark to keep filming. Uh, I've been blasting on these little horns for a while now, and uh, I haven't gotten any results today. But uh, we're gonna try again another time. And uh, but like I said, I've got to step up my game if I want to start cap capturing some of this wildlife uh, on film. But uh, today's been a lot of fun, anyway. Um, that one pig that we did see, that was pretty cool. She had a bunch of babies with her. So, this area is really cool. I've seen a lot of different types of wildlife out in this, on these open, open areas right here. So, I'm going to keep blasting these little horns on the way back to the car. Hopefully we'll see something, but if not guys, thanks for watching and take care. Today we're going to do something a little different. Today I'm going to attempt to call in certain wild, certain types of wildlife. Ah, chicken. Okay, hold on.